had to do a quick organization because I got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I get so excited. And uh, with the 40% off, it makes it likely the most inexpensive seeds that you're going to find out there. And they have different stuff than you normally find. And I have found some favorites because of them. And here to start, we have the lettuces and leafy greens and what have you. Oh, this was a fun one. The um, miner's lettuce. I thought this looked so cool. There was something else about it that, oh, it can be lightly steamed or in salads. There was something else about it that I thought was really cool. Oh, oh, it's the most cold tolerant of all of all greens that's a that's a bold statement but i mean if it is it is so if i can get this to grow in the green oh okay that i'm gonna have to put i'm gonna have to make a separate pile for stuff that i need to start this year no matter what so it would be really great if i could get this to grow in the greenhouse um through the winter so it I'm hoping, I'm hoping to, um, Greenhouse was not ready properly last winter to do anything. And I'm so far behind editing. I will show you guys, maybe I'll put a little sneak peek clip if I haven't already showed you because it's so beautiful. The, the trellis, the trellis arch and everything. Oh, look, look, see, I have everything in reach. Um, the arch here it has the squash going over it now and they're starting to like it, it's beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous tomatoes and all three i just replanted some lettuce we're talking about lettuce see okay 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 back to back to this i'm starting to sweat already Oof. already already it is hot i have the air on but sometimes that's just it's 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 not enough and it is not enough right now. Okay. All right. Get out of there. Uh, yeah. So hopefully through the winter and this will be in a different pile of, I need to actually pay attention to it. Let me put this down. And we have the bib lettuce. Uh, we have bib butter lettuce. And I thought this was fun. Um, the texture of the bib lettuce. I, I love it instead of any, I'm not a big fan of, if you've been here before, I'm not a big fan of watery lettuce. I'm not a big fan of watery anything to be perfectly honest, but this has like a really nice texture. So I think this would be great on sandwich in, in a salad. I'm not a salad person. Mr. Cheese does like salads. And once again, I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping that I can grow lettuce the miner's lettuce it, it, the claim uh, it's so cold tolerant but i'm hoping i have high hopes for lettuce because that's one of the only things before the greenhouse that survived like proper snow there were there were inches of snow i didn't think it was going to survive at all so i didn't really pay attention to it i didn't cover it i didn't try to like dig it out or anything Lo and behold, like the next day or so when everything finally melted, the lettuce was fine. So if it's in the greenhouse and it doesn't get the snow, as long as it's germinated and planted, that's the only problem. Um, I don't know if it's all greenhouses, but with our greenhouse, we're, we're going to have to figure out some type of heating system. I've looked into the water bucket heating type situation where you have like a five gallon bucket and you put a like water heater in it or one of the big I don't know I digress again <laughs> texture's amazing on the bib lettuce and next we have oh this is so pretty um whoa wait can it lo Lola okay Lola Rosa leaf lettuce. That's what we're going to go with. It's curly and it's purple. So 
I wanted to get it. I thought it would be a really cool lettuce to have. And I always try to get um, not just green, the reds, the purples, and mix that all up. You get different nutrients from all the different colors and you get a little rainbow going in it on your plate and then in your tummy and then everything else just yeah, just go, it. It's a good look. It's it's it feels good. <laughs> feels good going in and going. Out. <laughs> it's the truth. I mean, let's be real. Um, we have a frise endive. Uh, I don't think I've had. I bought endive, and I have some growing now. I I planted three lettuces. Lettuce. Yeah, in the greenhouse, and I'm going to stagger planting a little bit more. But one of them was an endive. It's just not the frise endive. And I, I want it more texture and divert. You, you see where I'm going? Like, y you don't want to eat it if it's all the same texture. And if you can kind of mix that up a little bit, that's why those um, bags of spring mix and whatnot sell so well. Because it's, it's different stuff going on and the flavor and the texture and then the tongue is like, yes! And it's a good thing. Can you tell? Like, the chef is really coming out. <laughs> wow, it is so warm. I'm going to have to turn the air a little lower. Or maybe I'm just getting excited because I'm talking about food. That does happen. So I'm excited for the endive. I don't know exactly what it tastes like. I feel like I've tasted it before. But it's mixed into something and I can't like, you know, if it's not a, a specific color, then it's just a bowl of green. Eh. Then we have sorrel. Sorrel I also got last year, but it's green. <laughs> this is the red, red vein sorrel. So that I will actually recognize it as not a weed <laughs> in the car <laughs> and not pull it up. I'm okay with it sometimes. But at a certain point, like, I could never just, like, uh, plan it willy-nilly because it looks like a weed at first. And then the shape of the um, leaves come in and you're like, oh, maybe that's not a weed. And then it never gets, like, that center weird cone where the, the weeds are trying to propagate themselves, flower and seed and, you know, fuck up your whole entire life. But we have the sorrel. I am gonna have to break this up. I didn't think I could talk this long about lettuce, but it's been a while, and I need people to talk to. Apparently, <laughs> no, that's a real thing. I'm trying to make friends. I'm trying to make some new friends. Okay, last one, real quick. Look at how pretty this is. It's so wait. Shit. I have you guys on the TV, so I can kind of see. Maybe I should turn off. I have a light on the phone that's also on right now. Maybe I should get rid of that. Okay. Radicchio. It's red. It's so pretty. It's uh, Rouge de Volna Radicchio. Um, actually, wait a minute. Is this Italian? Because I just said it like the French way. Because um, I, I took a lot of French. Um, since I was actually in kindergarten, I, I, I took like formally 14, 15 years of French <laughs> and I had one really good teacher where it all clicked. And uh, so I'm conversationally fluent in French, but this might, the Verona is making me think it's Italian, which I can, I can read most of the romance language, languages and, um, <laughs> Portuguese, if I can tell, oh my goodness, Portuguese throws my mind for the weirdest loop because I can understand parts of it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is Rouge de Verona. That's, that, that's closer to the Italian. I'd have to like think it through. My mind is in the French mode right now. I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, now I can turn you off. Watch out. No, it says you're going to overheat. <laughs> 